हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू बी एफ एस सी फिशरीज ऑनलाइन क्लास टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द फिश डिजीज हाउ इट अकर्स इट इज़ अ इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट दैट इज पार्ट वन ऑफ फिश डिजीज देन वी विल बी फर्दर कंटिन्यूंग वट आर द फंगल डिजीज पैरासाइटिक डिजीज एंड ऑल सो लेट्स बिगिन विद दिस टॉपिक फिश डिजीज सिग्निफिकेंस फर्स्ट वी विल बी सींग दैट वॉट आर द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ फिश डिजीज इन एक्वाकल्चर Diseases are mainly occur as we have a aim, like because uh, need, we need sustainable development in aquaculture. For the sustainable development, that is to increase the productivity, the uh, systems are increasing. Uh, like we are going from semi-intensive culture to the intensive culture. Here, yeah, intensive culture means that we are increasing the stocking density more and more, and we are using the less fertilizer. i am explaining the intensive what is intensive uh, culture and here the high level of input are there and also we are increasing the supplementary feed and due to the increase of stocking density management are uh, getting decreased by day like we are uh, thus increasing the stocking density and we are not able to manage all this and that is why disease often occur a scientist named as sinus Sinus Go has in 1970 first declared that there is a balance between host pathogen and environment. Here, environment is missing, so there is a balance, and if this balance breaks, then disease mainly occur. So we have to know all this. What are the uh, host pathogen and environment that often are useful for the disease development, and why are they aim to be uh, for disease development? Because a uh, host are like physiological reproductive development stage condition stocking density or host susceptibility and immunity these are all called as host and uh, there are not one uh, uh, like one factor because of which disease occur there can be multiple factor too because we usually handle the fish and we have to uh, process it or we have to uh, let it for the like we have to make it to sell in the market so we ha- we usually handle it process it and due to this all activity disease often occur in fish so environment factor that are responsible are host water uh, like water and its component like oxygen ph temperature toxins waste etc these are the environment factor and the management practices like we do are handling then drug treatment that is if uh, any fish can be disease then we usually do drug treatment to overcome it or transport procedures whatever we do are caused for the Uh, like these are the environment that are cause for the disease breakdown and the pathogens are we know that the pathogen are like virus fungi bacteria all are pathogen that often occurs and cause uh, they are cause for the disease outbreak so yahan pe hum log yahan par padhna hai hum log ko ki disease kyun hota hai hum log dekhte hai ki aquaculture mein hum log jab increase karte hai productivity ko hum log ko increase karna hai तो उसके लिए हम लोग सेमी इंटेंसिव से इंटेंसिव की ओर बढ़ रहे हैं अगर सेमी इंटेंसिव और इंटेंसिव के दोनों के बीच के डिफरेंस को देखा जाए तो सेमी इंटेंसिव का मतलब होता है कि यहाँ पे हम लोग स्टॉकिंग डेंसिटी मॉडरेट है यहाँ सब कुछ मॉडरेट होता है फर्टिलाइजर भी मॉडरेट है इससे उतना नुकसान नहीं होता लेकिन अगर हम लोग इंटेंसिव की ओर मूव कर रहे हैं तो इंटेंसिव में स्टॉकिंग डेंसिटी ज़्यादा होता है फर्टिलाइजर भी कम होता है और इसमें हाई लेवल ऑफ इनपुट यानी कि फीड ज़्यादा देने की ज़रूरत है सप्लीमेंट्री फीड हम लोग देखते हैं लेकिन इसको मैनेज करना फिर मुश्किल हो जाता है इसलिए डिजीज़ का आउटब्रेक मेनली इंटेंसिव फार्मिंग में होता है क्योंकि इंटेंसिव फार्मिंग में हम लोग प्रोडक्टिविटी को इंक्रीज करने के लिए स्टॉकिंग डेंसिटी बढ़ा देते हैं इसके कारण डिजीज आउटब्रेक होता है डिजीज आउटब्रेक सिनेस को एक साइंटिस्ट थे जिन्होंने बताया कि अगर बैलेंस जो है होस्ट पैथोजन और इन्वायरमेंट के बीच का अगर वो बैलेंस ना रहे तो फिर डिजीज आउटब्रेक हो सकते हैं तो उसी के बारे में आज हम लोग देखेंगे स्ट्रेसेस क्या क्या हो सकते हैं फिश के लिए कोई भी डिजीज होती है तो उसके लिए देर आर स्ट्रेसेस लाइक दे कैन बी केमिकल दे कैन बी फिजिकल दे कैन बी बायोलॉजिकल तो केमिकल स्ट्रेसेस फॉर द फिश आर ड्यू टू वाटर क्वालिटी लाइक टेम्परेचर पीएच एंड ऑल दीज 
turbidity can suffer the fish they can bring stress in the fish and stress can cause a disease it can be pollutant can be metabolic waste and the physical factor that is responsible for the stress in fish are temperature super saturation of gas procedural stress due to handling transportation stocking or disease treatment that is drug treatment these are the factor physical factor and the biological factor are stress due to population density confinement diet composition micro or macro micro and macro organism so it is missing here macro organism so these are the biological factor तो स्ट्रेस कैसे होता है फिश में केमिकल फैक्टर हो सकते हैं फिजिकल या बायोलॉजिकल फैक्टर हो सकते हैं केमिकल फैक्टर में वाटर क्वालिटी की बात की जा रही है यहाँ पीएच उसमें जो सॉइल यूज कर रहे हैं हम लोग उसका भी पीएच मेनली वैरी करता है जिसके कारण डिजीज आउटब्रेक हो सकता है पॉल्यूटेंट्स हो सकते हैं फैक्टर फिजिकल फैक्टर में टेम्परेचर या फिर हैंडलिंग ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ये सारे फैक्टर हैं बायोलॉजिकल फैक्टर में पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी है डाइट कॉम्पोजिशन है अब जो है ड्यू टू द स्ट्रेस लाइक ड्यू टू द फिजिकल बायोलॉजिकल केमिकल फैक्टर देर आर स्ट्रेस हॉर्मोन इन द फिश दैट आर मेनली गेट इन्फ्लुएंस बाई दिस फैक्टर एंड ड्यू टू विच दी स्ट्रेस मेनली आकर एंड दे कॉज डिजीज इन फिशेज सो स्ट्रेस वॉट दे डू इज दे स्टिमुलेट द ब्रेन एंड द ब्रेन हैज द प्यूटिट्री ग्लैंड विच गेट स्टिमुलेटेड बाई ए सी टी एच दैट इज एक्टिनो कॉटिकोट्रॉफिक हारमोन एंड देन इट स्टिमुलेट द इंटरनल सेल देन कॉटिसोल एंड देन सेकेंडरी एंड टर्सरी हारमोन आर गेटिंग Uh, activated due to the stressor stress can be sympathetic nerve system they have a positive impact and then it influence the hypothalamus then pituitary gland and then it leads to the head kidney where the chromaffin cells are there internal cells are there interrenal cells and they stimulate the cortisol hormone or catecholamines so these are the factor stimulation of hypothalamus and pituitary interrenal axis due to which corticosteroids hormone are produced and due to which their defense mechanism are lowered so these are the stress hormone that are responsible for the stress then water quality what are the water quality that uh, are factor that is uh, play an important role in the fish disease that why that is why the fish uh, mainly occurs in fish disease occurs are like we have to maintain the dissolved oxygen in the uh, like water we have to maintain that dissolved oxygen and due to which we increase the aeration and reduce the feeding rates and then control the phytoplankton bloom then management of water flow water exchange we do and uh, what we do is we have to maintain the ph pH should be 7.8 to 8, and the soil moisture that is to be 12 to 20 percent. Bio filter we use so to filter treat the uh, whatever there is uh, um, uh, like a uh, fish. When we feed the fish, then there are some feed that is left over there, and they can be after some time they can cause pollutant and can. Now, uh, bring stress in fishes, and uh, also we can see that the uh, fecal matters that fish uh, release can also excretes uh, can also cause disease problems in fishes. They are the factors mainly responsible, and these are uh, the way we can control the water quality. So, uh, water quality has to improve day by day. then a uh, group of diseases a scientist name as skinny i have uh, compiled all this because we need to know that who was the scientist and who introduced what because it is important for the jrf exam many where uh, it is asked that what are who was the scientist who uh, introduced the host pathogen and environment relationship and the other is the groups of like diseases that mainly occur they are there is three groups i have introduced here written here four there will be only three that is first one is sporadic sporadic disease that is few member of population it mainly occurs 
Epizootic disease can be large scale outbreak of communicable animal disease occurring temporarily within a limited geographical areas and endotic means persist or reoccur as low level outbreak in certain area so this is a uh, important uh, to know the groups of disease pehla hai sporadic diseases jo ki sporadically introduce hota hai aur ye mainly kuch members of population mein aata hai dusra hota hai epizootic matlab epizootic matlab ki wo bahut bada population mein hoga aur ye disease large uh, factors mein hote hain aur limited geographical area mein hote hain एनजोटिक का मतलब होता है जो कि बहुत ही लो लेवल में इंक्रीज होते हैं आउटब्रेक होते हैं उसको हम लोग एनजोटिक भी बोलते हैं डिजीज के टाइप्स की बात करें तो मेनली टू टाइप्स ऑफ डिजीज होते हैं फर्स्ट होता है एक्यूट एक्यूट डिजीज एंड द सेकेंड वन इज द क्रोनिक डिजीज एक्यूट डिजीज मीन्स हाई मोटैलिटी एंड विल डिसअपियर विद इक्वल स्पीड मीन्स दे विल बी हाई मोटैलिटी एंड देन इट विल बी डिसअपियर क्विकली like with high speed and the chronic disease is the one that develops slowly with less severity but persists for greater period so it is developing slowly and will persist for longer periods so this is the difference between the acute uh, acute and the chronic diseases so it is important to know so this was all for today uh, thanks for watching and if you like this channel then please do like and subscribe this was all about the introduction of the diseases why it occurs what are the factors responsible for disease breakdown we saw and we will be again doing that what are the bacterial disease fungal disease and viral uh, whatever like um, we have to uh, pathogen disease parasitic disease all have to know Uh, the important of it these are all important for the jrf exam because many times disease names are asked that uh, what are the uh, factor that is responsible for a particular disease and the name will be given and we have to know, uh, answer it that what uh, type of disease it is either bacterial or fungal or parasitic and all so thanks for watching and if you like this channel then please do like and subscribe